Okay, girl. Thank you for helping me. You're so sweet. Hi, and welcome to Tarantulas with Shanti. I hope that your holiday has been wonderful. Leave uh, comments for me. Let me know what you got for Christmas or what you gave away. Um, if, you, if you celebrate giving gifts or why you do or why you don't, I would love to hear about it, especially if it's tarantula related or has something to do, anything to do with your hobby with tarantulas. So today I have something I want to share with you that is very exciting to me. And this is a recording of my uh, King Baboon tarantula, my Pelinobius muticus. Her name is Maneater. She is huge and she is about six years old. I went to see if I could make a feeding video with her and she started stridulating, which she has not done for a long time. So I decided to drop the mic down into her enclosure and she really looks like she's singing into it and she's going to be a one hit wonder. But I got some great recordings and I'm going to share those with you here. I'm also going to share some footage of her uh, with the mic um, stridulating. So you'll get to see that and hear what it sounds like uh, with a microphone. So. Again, if you want to use these recordings for educational purposes, just contact me and make sure you give credit. Just ask me about it and I'm sure we can work something out. Now, one thing I want to say before we listen is that stridulating is something that occurs when a, an arthropod, and now we're talking about tarantulas or a spider, rub their body parts together. And it is actually some very stiff setae, which are like their hairs, that they are rubbing together. And it's not only their legs that they do this with. They have other body parts that they use, like they can take their, their uh, thorax and their abdomen and some will rub together there to make sound so it's not only their legs that they use um, i think some use their chelicerae as well so let's go ahead and let's listen to these clips Now granted, she was a little upset with me. That's why she made these sounds. I do not condone that you, you know, harass your tarantula until they make this sound, you know, either for entertainment or, you know, for your friends, whatever. But, you know, come here, listen to this. Uh, if your tarantula happens to do this or be in a, in a position to do this, okay. Um, but, uh, I was very careful when I recorded her and I was careful not to let her be in a position where she could be injured um, and I it's a one-time thing so I won't be repeating this and recording her again um, this is my recording and I'm gonna keep it on file to share in the future let's listen to a couple more different recordings of her stridulating Now, stridulating is sometimes called hissing. You can see this in a lot of Hollywood movies where they will make the hissing sounds to go along with the tarantulas scurrying around and creeping around in the horror movies. Uh, some of the tarantulas that they show doing this, I'm not sure I've never heard mine stridulating. Maybe it's just for effect. Um, some of the species don't you know, necessarily do that. I do know that my Theraphosa sturm sturmy, my burgundy goliath bird eater, she does stridulate. If I remove her water bowl and I look in on her, she'll back up and she'll stridulate as she's doing that, just as a warning. And I've heard that this can be heard up to 15 feet away. So if you are out in the jungle or the desert, you might come across the sound and it could be a tarantula. Let's go ahead and look at a few video clips that I took of my King Baboon Tarantula and you can see her in action.
Well, I hope that you've really enjoyed this and uh, come back anytime. Please uh, subscribe, uh, check out my other video that I have that is of the tarantula's courtship sounds where they are tapping and drumming. So that will be here. Uh, and I hope that you've had a wonderful holiday. I will see you next time.